Hiya, welcome to GGKCS, the multi-generational podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross-stitching, geeky. I'm Cece, and I'm so glad you're here today. Today is Sunday, the 11th of July, 2021, and this is episode 451. I'd like to say a big welcome back. Love y'all to all returning viewers and a big hiya to any new viewers. The door's open. It's a little warm here. Uh, hi to any new viewers. Thanks for giving us a shot. Hope you enjoy the show. So um, I did want to make a little announcement here. Um, so Dami has decided to take um, a step back from the podcast slash floss tube for now. Um, they are heading into their senior year of university. They have a big thesis project that they have to do and they are just not they don't have enough time really to craft that much and um they were feeling some pressure um to to try to make progress even when they didn't have time and as well as um as uh, if you've been around you know the last year has had a lot of changes in it with um me coming out and um separating from um from Dammy's dad, and um, so that's that's put a lot of stress um, and anxiety in all of our lives right now. And um, so they they have just decided to take a step back, and they are still going to come on. Um, you know, when they do have time to craft and finish something, they'll come on and for special occasions and such. So I know that they're planning to come on for the ninth anniversary episode and um, we'll just go from there. So, um, so for now you're gonna mainly get me and I hope that's okay. And um, you know, Dammy was 12, when, sorry, I'm getting all emotional. Dammy was 12 when we started this and they're gonna be 22 in just a few months and um, that's a good portion of their lives and their life. And um, it's been such a joy to do this with them, but I also have to respect um, where they are in life right now. Excuse me, I gotta drink some water. And so um, the best way I can do that right now is to respect that they, <coughs> excuse me, they need to step away from the podcast for a while. So I hope that y'all will understand that and respect that and respect their decision and, um, <coughs> excuse me, and just continue to support them in their, in their lives and in their, in their life and in their decisions. And, um, some of y'all have been with us since the very beginning and others of you are brand new today and, I get emotional sometimes. That's just how it is. Um, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. So for now, you're going to get me. Um, but this is still a multi-generational podcast slash plus two because Tammy's always going to be a part of it. So. Okay, well, I have some exciting finishes to show you and some fun things to talk about. So I'm going to take a deep breath and drink some water and then we'll get started. Here we go. <music> And now we're going to talk about what's on my needles. So in my beautiful project bag from Nerdbird Makery, I adore this bag, um, I am working on a birthday cowl for my nephew, uh, Wyatt. And my needles got weirdly in my saver. There we go. Um, I am using the Oats Cowl Pattern by Tin Can Knits on US 8's 5 mil needles. And... I have to look at the label again, y'all. The So I am using the blue that I'm going to show you is Vitalana by Knit Crate Ambient Worsted in the Michelangelo colorway. And the gray is Vitalana by Knit Crate Celestial in the Ganymede colorway. And here is where I'm at. Y'all, I'm about to be done. I need to do... One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to do four more rows of ribbing and bind off. And then I will be done with Wyatt's. And then, uh, so by next week, I will be done with this. And I will have cast on and hopefully made good progress on Wayland's, my other nephew. Um, it's going to be the same main color for Wayland, but it's a darker blue 
for the ribbing and that way they can tell them apart easier. Um, so I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. It'll be a nice little, this, you know, the boys is going to be a little closer fitting up here versus Lola's, my niece that I uh, did hers, um, is going to be more drapey. So, um, but I feel like that's fine. That'll work. So, so I am almost, almost done with this and I can't wait to get it finished and get started on Waylands. And then after that. I've already done Noah's birthday socks. So I guess after that will be Dammy's birthday. So I'm going to check with them and see if socks are cool for them this year for their birthday. Um, and then also then after that birthday socks for my bestie Katie. So, um, yeah, and I'd like to throw in and do some shorty socks for me. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do some shorty socks out of the Christmas colorway that I used for Noah's birthday socks, which is, it's Christmassy, but not Christmassy kind of. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But needless to say, something will be on the needles or about to start on the needles one way or another. Um, okay, that's everything that's on my needles, other than today's preemie hat has been started, but it hasn't made much progress. So let me show you, though, my finished projects. And now let's talk about my knitted finished project. So here is this week's creamy hat that I knit last Sunday. This is number 27 for the year. It's for my free top-down creamy hat pattern you can get on our website, javapearldesigns.com. I did it on US 6's four mil needles, and the colors are Bernay Softy Baby in the mint colorway, and Knitting in France Sparkles in the something about CC colorway, and I held that doubled. Can you see the sparkles? So this is number 27 for the year. 28 has been cast on. So I'm into the second half of the year and it's very exciting. Um, hopefully it'll get to a time soon where the hospital is accepting uh, handmade items again and I will be able to donate my big bag of preemie hats that is in the top of my closet right now. So this one will get tossed in and I'll work on the next one. That's the only knitted thing I have finished, but y'all, I have two, two cross-stitch finishes. Let's move on to the next segment. And now it's time for Floss Tube. So last week in Yummies, we showed you this pattern that I'm putting on the screen right now. This is the They Them pattern by Top Knot Stitcher. And um, there is a link in the show notes, ggkcs.com to get the pattern. Um, but I modified it a little bit and I stitched two of them this week. So if you are a Patreon or YouTube join member, uh, this week's vlog shows you the whole journey of, of stitching these. So here, ooh, don't fall, don't fall. Here are my two finishes. So let's talk about, so I did both of them on like a 14 count, uh, just kind of uh, cream Ada. Um, and I used called for floss, DMC flosses, and then I had to figure out the flosses for the flags uh, because the original pattern used the flag as a transgender flag. So here is Dammy's. So what I did was I kept the pride flag colors here and in the hearts, and then I did the non-binary flag. So black and white and purple and yellow, and then I kept the they them pronouns because that's what Dammy uses. And then I did this one for me. So again, I kept the pride flag colors here and in the hearts. And then I did the lesbian flag for me. And then I did she, her. So I had to chart an S and an R. Um, but I think it works great. I got these frames off of Amazon. They were, I wanted to get like three by three frames. And it was almost impossible to find ones that were not, astronomically expensive. So I got these and they actually marketed them as um, like Instagram photo frames and they were a set of four. So uh, I used two of them and then 
uh, my, I think I've mentioned that my bestie Katie's coming to visit uh, here very soon. And I was like, Dammy, I need you to take a picture of me and Katie together for one of the frames. And then we need to get Katie to take a picture of um, Dammy and me and Pink Pearl. And then I can like take these and put them on my desk at work to have special people in my life. So they're just, um, they're just black frames. They do have a hook if you want to hang them up. And then they also came with a peg if you want to make them stand up. So Abby, beautiful pattern, beautiful, beautiful pattern. Um, and it was so much fun. And I did these kind of like, not like assembly line, production line, but I did back and forth. So like I did the outline on both of them. And then I did the gray of the school and the flagpole on both of them. And then I did like the, what was the first color? I did the purple of the flag and the purple heart on both of them. And then the, all the colors all the way up. And then I did both flags. And then I did both pronouns, sets of pronouns. So um, it was a lot of fun to stitch these. And um, I'm going to, I need still need, I have not, probably by the time you see this, I will have taken a photo of these for social media, but, um, I, I'm so pleased with them. I'm so proud of them. And, um, I, I know I talked about it in my vlog, but our hospital, I'm pretty sure I talked about it in my vlog. Anyway, I don't know. Sweet. Um, our host, my hospital that I work at is being really, um, intentional about asking our patients, um, the, the kids, what their pronouns are. And when I open the medical record, um, to like, if I have a pa parent call in or whatever, I can see what the patient's pronouns are. I can also see, um, the gender that the patient was, um, at at birth, presented at birth, and then also if they um, identify as a, as a different gender, um, that is in the chart if they've shared that with us. So it's really, they're making real uh, effort uh, to be more inclusive and more respectful of people's pronouns and gender identity. Um, so also as staff, we're trying to be more aware of that. So, you know, on my lanyard, I have my pronouns. I have a pride flag. My my lanyard is rainbow because hello. Um, so I'm actually going to take mine and put it in my cubicle at work. So I'm um, just trying to make it, make it normal to share our pronouns. And so, you know, to be respectful of people's gender identities. I think that's so important. So um, thank you, Abby, for the beautiful pattern. And um, I'm just thrilled uh, that I got to stitch these for Dammy and I. So the other thing, so Dreaming Girl did not get any work this week. I did all my focus was on those two to get them started and finished within the week. And actually last night I was stitching the pronouns and this morning I ironed them and put them in the frames. Uh, I had intended to do that yesterday, yesterday, um, yeah, I'm, um, my dad had an accident and, um, he's home from the hospital and he sees the doctor in the morning and we'll go from there, but we got that news yesterday and that kind of threw a kink in, in plants. So. Okay. The other thing I did work on cross stitch wise this week is in my Winnie the Pooh bag by Knit Run Dig. Um, again, all the links to everything is in the show notes at ggkcs.com. And I am working on here we go. Edinburgh Castle by Tara Luna Stitchery. And all, like I said, all the links to everything that I use is in the show notes at ggkcs.com. So I am doing the 25-7 challenge on this. And I think I'm up to, I don't know, like 71 days or something now that I've done this. So I am doing the version of it where you stitch 25 stitches a day on a, on a specific project that you choose. Uh, some people are doing it as 25 minutes. Uh, but this is what works in my life right now. So when I finished the, so I'm doing 25 stitches a day, except for on Fridays, I do 50 stitches so that I finish two 100 
square blocks a week. Um, so Friday, when I finished that block, I was at 34,000 stitches out of 265,824 complete, which is 12.790%. So I stitched these two boxes this week. And then yesterday I did those 25 stitches. And I'll just give you a sneak preview that those 25 stitches put me at 12.8% complete. That's very exciting. So I'm going to be working on this for a while, but it's okay because 25 stitches is more than zero stitches. And that's what had been happening prior to me picking up this challenge. Uh, I had set it aside in the move and um, starting a full-time job and such. So this motivated me to pull this back out and work on it, which is so special. So there we go. So I will get 25 stitches on this after I finish, uh, today's preemie hat and then I will pull um, Dreaming Girl back out and get some progress on that. So that's very exciting. All right. Well, that is everything for floss tube. Um, I don't have any cross stitch content in yummies, but you said should still stick around because there's more exciting things to come. So let's move on to the next segment. And now it's time for our favorite part of the show. Yummies. Yummies are our current favorite things, things we like, things we want to talk to you about. Yummies. So I got um, this beautiful bracelet in the mail from Renee at Two Sparrow Studio on Etsy. I've linked her in the show notes. And it came on this card, lesbian flag there, proud of who you are. And while I don't totally subscribe to this, it's still cute. Close your eyes and make a wish and put this bracelet on your wrist. When the tiny thread wears through, this is that is when your wish comes through. So here is the beautiful bracelet, the colors of the pride flag, of the lesbian flag. And it's just tied in a little knot and there is also just silver beads at the end. I just wanted something simple and I wanted something cute and I happened across this and I was like, I'm going to get that. So it came yesterday. So that's fun. What I did was because Dammy had tied it for me and then the knot started loosening. And so what I did is we retightened the knot and then I put a dab of clear nail polish on the dot on the knot to keep it from slipping. So there we go. And then the other thing is we got a sweet card in the mail this week. And I just wanted to show y'all because it is so freaking cute. Look at the cat and the yarn and it says thank you and it's a thank you note from tracy o um who won something in the spring uh al the spring along and um she sent some money to help with postage which was uh, not necessary but very much appreciated so thank you so much tracy we appreciate that very much so that's all i've got for yummy this week y'all uh it has been like i said it's been a week and uh yeah, it's been a week, but I'm thrilled. Uh, I mean, another yummy is that Dammy is here with me and spending, I'm getting some bonus time with, with them. And, um, and I love that. And just, yeah. So, okay. Well, I'm knitting on my preemie hat now and we're going to move on to the next segment. And now we're going to talk about what we're reading, watching, and listening to. This is just a reminder about our RAL, our read along, which is a challenge for you to read 15 minutes a day, every day. I don't care what you're reading, as long as you're reading. Audiobooks do count. Uh, by participating in the seasonal, which right now is July, August, September, you earn entries into the year long challenge. And then at the beginning of 2022, we'll draw for three grand prize winners. All the details are in the show notes as well as in our Facebook group. Um, it's life. You get noises. Um, so what I am reading, I'm still continuing to read The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk. I'm reading that as part of my um, counseling. Um, I am reading Becoming Eve 
My Journey from Ultra Orthodox Rabbi to Transgender Woman by Abby Stein. Um, and I'm reading this as part of my one of my book clubs, which has just been renamed and a beautiful new logo. It's called the Unashamed Love Collective, a community for LGBTQ plus people and allies. I need to put that in the show notes because season three is going to be opening up very soon and you can go to the link in the show notes and be put on uh, the list to be notified when it opens uh, to sign up. So we are, that's what we're reading this month is Becoming Eve. It's very, very interesting. I'm actually about like 70 ish percent done with it. Um, and I'm finding it very interesting because I didn't know a lot about, um, about uh, the ultra Orthodox Jews. Um, and so I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying reading it. And um, Abby will be joining us um, at book club later this month. So that'll be a lot of fun as well. And then fiction wise, I finished reading Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall, which is a male male romance. And it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I am listening to the audio book of Something About You, which is book number one in the FBI U.S. Attorney series by Julie James. And I'm actually listening to this at work. Um, I have, so I have my headset on for work. And if I'm not on the phone, I pull the, the ear, just kind of the piece kind of back. And I have uh, my Bluetooth headphone in the other ear and I listen to it when I'm not on phone calls. Um, just trying to stay present in my own space. And um, because I share an office with a lot of people. So, um, it's, it's just a romance with some, uh, I don't know, like criminal FBI attorney stuff thrown in, I guess is how I would describe it. And then I just started reading last night, All Are Welcome by Liz Parker. This book actually technically has not released yet. It's a you can get a pre-order of it, but um, we have Amazon Prime, and one of the things is every month we get to choose some usually one to two books that have um, that have not released yet, but are releasing soon, and we get one for free as part of our Amazon Prime membership. So this month, this is the one that I chose, and it's um, I've just barely started it last night, but it is a um, female female romance and they are on their way to get married. So um, I'm. it will be interesting and fun to read, continue to read that. Watching, I am continuing to watch Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Um, I'm watching season 21 and episodes for the That's Messed Up and SVU podcast, which is not safe for children. Um, so I'm watching that. I'm almost caught up and to be current with Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Uh, and when I get to the point, I will also start watching Law & Order Organized Crime because they do a lot of crossovers. I am rewatching season one of Gilmore Girls along with the I Am All In with Scott Patterson podcast. Uh, Scott is who played Luke in Gilmore Girls, and so that's a lot of fun. Uh, Dammy and I finished watching season six of Grace and Frankie, and now we have to wait for season seven to come out. Um, and so that was fun. Um, Dammy had never watched, I know we have kids that listen, so I will spell this instead of say it, S-C-H-I-T-T -T apostrophe S Creek. Um, I, this is a rewatch for me, but Dammy had never seen it. So we finished season one and we're in season two now. Uh, after we finished watching Grace and Frankie, we just needed something else to watch together. So there we're doing that. And then I'm still continuing my binge of random episodes of Queer Eye. And then listening to, of course, the podcasts that I've mentioned, as well as my favorite murder podcast, some other random podcasts, as well as random Spotify playlists. And that is everything that I am reading, watching, and listening to this week. Let's move on to the next segment. And now it's time for the June, July, August summertime, and the living is easy. Al. 
So I'm going to change things up a little bit in how I handle talking about this um, with just me on the podcast right now. Um, what my plan is the first podcast of every month, I will go through the rules as well as the prizes in detail on the rest of the weeks of the month. I will um, give a shout out to thank the uh, prize donors. We really, really appreciate it. You so much. If you want to enter into the owl, you need to go into our Facebook group and there is a thread there to enter as well as all the rules are there and now on our website, ggkcs.com. And then I will give a shout out to people who finished projects in the last week. So that this past week finishes were done by Emily R, Jane S, Jennifer H, Lisa L, Sarah G and Tracy O. Great job, everybody. Keep working on your projects. You've got a little over a month and a half to get them finished and posted, and you could be a prize winner. All right, let's move on to the next segment. And now it's time for Ask the Geeks, the part of our show where you ask us things and we try to answer them. So this week I have a question that was originally asked and answered in 2018. Hillary asks... CC, you design lovely sock patterns that have all kinds of design elements in them, but you personally knit lots and lots of vanilla socks. Why don't you knit more complex socks for yourself and others? Um, I guess I should maybe possibly get back into knitting more complex socks since I'm not doing uh, just any designing at the moment. But um, vanilla socks were kind of my reprieve, not having to think about the pattern when I was designing all those um, intricate sock patterns with lace and cables and texture and uh, all kinds of things like that. So, um, yeah. Well, and I do like, you know, because I knit, a lot of my knitting time happens like on my the bus to and from work as I'm commuting and not having to think about a design pattern uh, is just easier. <laughs> So um, I don't have to think about it. I can just knit around and around in circles. So I use I I try to let the yarn speak for itself. Um, but who knows? Maybe I will design another sock pattern at some point. Maybe I will knit some more um, complex socks for myself or others. But I really really love vanilla socks. <laughs> so um, yeah. So if you want to see some of the more complex socks that I have designed, you can go to our website, javapearldesigns.com. Um, and there, there are links to, um, to all of our patterns and our books, both on Etsy and Payhip. So um, if you have a question for Dami or I, you can post it in the Ask the Geeks thread in the Facebook group, or you can post it in the comments of the YouTube videos and we will answer them from there. Um, if we don't have questions, we have been just pulling old ones from um, the years past, the almost nine years that we've been doing the podcast. So, all right, let's move on to the next segment. And with that, we come to the end of the show. Yay. And I'm knitting my broomy hat. Um, just some reminders, um, we are co-hosting the Pride Owl, the Pride Along, with several other podcasters and um, and designers and such. This started back in May, and it runs through the 30th of June, 2022. In the show notes at ggkcs.com, there is a link to a YouTube video that explains everything. Uh, and our hashtag for this is hashtag ggkcs pride along 2122. Um, I already made the big announcement at the start of the episode, so um, there's none other that I can think of right now. So we'd like to say a huge thank you. We love y'all. Love. There we go. To everyone who supports the podcast, no matter how it is you do it, watching, is supporting, uh, commenting, participating in owls and the row, um in the Facebook group, you know. Yeah, all of that, all of that, um, that is the community of the podcast and we're very, very grateful for it, but especially big thank you to those of you who support the podcast financially. That money goes primarily to paying for the shipping out of prizes and to technology behind the scenes. Uh, if you would like to support the podcast financially, you can do that in several ways. Uh, first is Patreon and YouTube join, which are ways that you can pledge a certain amount a month, uh, to your favorite creatives and earn, uh, 
perks or rewards based on the level you donate at. Uh, if you want to know more or want to sign up, you can go to patreon.com slash ggkcs or on YouTube uh, underneath any of our videos, there's the join button and you can click there. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, there is a link to PayPal in the sidebar of our website. We are bookshop.org affiliates, which is an organization that has a mission to financially support local independent bookstores by purchasing something from our shop. We earn a little commission as well as independent local independent bookstores earn money. Um, each week I make a bookshelf of the books that we talk about in that week's episode. So you're welcome to shop there or in our shop is in general is bookshop.org slash shop slash ggkcs. And we are amazon.com.co.uk and .ca affiliates. If you're going to shop on Amazon, if you go to our site first, click on the appropriate link. Do your shopping as normal. We earn a little money back based on what you purchase. It doesn't cost you anything extra and is a great way to support the podcast by doing something you would be doing anyway. You can find us online at ggkcs.com, and there there are links to everywhere else we are online. Uh, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, our Facebook group, Instagram, uh, and lots of other things. So check out our website for all those links. Um, and with that, I'm going to tell you goodbye. I hope you have a great uh, week ahead. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear your mask when and uh, where it's appropriate. Get vaccinated. Um, stay cool. It's, it's hot in some places. Um, so stay cool, stay hydrated, drink your water drink your water. Um, and happy crafting. Um, I hope you will find some joy this week in something that you're knitting, crocheting, weaving, spinning, stitching, or sewing. And um, I will see you again next time. Until then, happy crafting. Talk to you again soon. I really, 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 really have the cutest coworker in the world. Oh, hello. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you like to answer some phone calls? Would you like to sort some faxes? Would you like to help some families? Or would you just like to lay there and be the cutest baby in the world? That's what I thought. <laughs>